Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel Data Logics with Shivam. From today, I am starting a new series for time intelligence interview question. In this playlist, you will have most important question which are commonly asked under time intelligence section. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to get notified. Today, I will cover one of the interview question which is difference between total YTD versus dates YTD and which one is more flexible to use. So let's move to Power BI. Let me go to the data view. So I have this data set table. First, the date where I have multiple dates from 2020 through January 2023 to July 2023. And I have another table which is called revenue. It is providing the revenue state wise and cities wise city wise and we have the date as well let's move to data modeling the relationship is one to many one side is date table and many side is revenue table now let's go to report view and create two major one for total ytt and another for dates ytt then i will tell you the difference so let me create a new measure I'll name it as total YTD dex. Then I'll use total YTD function. The first argument will be sum of, uh, so I am having this uh, total revenue, which is summing all of the revenue. So I'll use that one total revenue measure. Then the first argument will be date. So I'll be using date column. And then uh, I'll provide here the date, I mean the fiscal year or the fee year which we want. So I'll want 12 and 31. So I'm, I want January to December month. I'll hit enter. Then I'll create one more measure. I'll name it as dates YTD DAX. I'll wrap this into calculate function and I'll provide the total revenue sum and then dates uh, I'll use the dates ytd function and then I'll use the date for the column. So this is the mandatory uh, column which we need to uh, provide in dates ytd else is optional. So I'll close the bracket of calculate and hit enter. Now since the measure is created let me add these two measure into table. So I'll first drop drag and drop the total ytd and second i'll drop dates ytd now what it is doing so this is my total revenue month wise okay from the starting january 2020 to till the last date which we have in the data total ytd is accumulating the sum month wise if you see here 2000 in 2000 plus 37, 5700 and then th this is going further also. Same as date YTD, it is also accumulating the sum. You can see the values are same. <coughs> so if they are providing the same output, then where is the difference? So internally, the operation is same for total YTD and dates YTD. That is why you can't see any difference in output between these two function. So the first difference is total YTD written scalar value and dates YTD written stable. Let's go into Microsoft website and let's check. So if you can see here in dates YTD, it returns a table that contains a column of the dates for the year to date in the current context. And for total YTD evaluates the year to date value of the expression 
in the current context. So it provides a scalar value. If you can see here an expression that returns a scalar value where the expression is this and then it is providing here in the dates a column that contains the date. Now what is the second difference? So the second difference is filter. In total YTD we can give only one filter condition but in dates YTD since we wrap this in calculate function we can give more than one filter. Let me show you how. So we are in total YTD and here if I will add two here so if you can see here the expression which we have given the date column which we, which we have also given and the filter only one filter condition we can provide here and year end to date let's say we can have revenue and uh, no uh, let's take revenue state So this I can provide and then revenue state will be Maharashtra. This I can provide here only one filter condition. Okay. Now, now if you see here, there is only one filter condition which we can give into dates total YTD. Now in terms of total uh, dates YTD, if we go here, since we are wrapping this into calculate function, we have the flexibility to provide multiple filter condition. You can see here, right? So let's add revenue first state will be MH Maharashtra and then we can add revenue city equals to Pune and hit enter. See here also it is not providing it is not giving any error. So this is the second difference. So that is why dates YTD provide the more flexibility since we are wrapping this into calculate function. So I hope you like this video. If you have any question or feedback, then please write into comment section. Also, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.